ओम शांति दिस इज दी सागर मुरली ऑफ सेवेंटीन ऑफ मे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन इन ऑर्डर टू टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ बेद इन नॉलेज ट्वाइस अ डे माया मेक्स यू मेक मिस्टेक्स एंड दी फादर फ्रीज यू फ्रॉम मेकिंग मिस्टेक्स क्वेश्चन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ विच फेथ एंड एफर्ट डू यू रिसीव फुल हेल्प फ्रॉम द फादर आंसर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देयर हैज टू बी दी फॉर्म फेथ माइन इज वन से बाबा अलोन एंड नन अदर टूगेदर विद दिस यू हैव टू सरेंडर योर सेल्फ कम्प्लीटली टू द फादर दैट इज यू हैव टू बिकम अ ट्रस्टी एंड सर्व विद लव सच चिल्ड्रन रिसीव फुल हेल्प फ्रॉम द फादर सॉन्ग वी फॉलो द पाथ ऑन विच वी मे फॉल एंड हैव टू रिमेन केयरफुल Om Shanti Who says this in the song The supreme father the supreme soul the ocean of knowledge say children on the path that I am now making you follow and in the directions and advice that I now give you to conquer maya this will happen some will fall and some will get up and some will remain careful they will continue to remain conscious or unconscious this is the life giving herb with which to remain conscious the life giving herb of the supreme father the supreme soul is knowledge there is this story in the ramayana of how there was a battle between rama and ravan and how lakshman became unconscious and then how hanuman brought the life giving herb to make him conscious again in fact the ramayana was written later there were no such things nor did god sit and speak the gita that human beings have written the father is the ocean of knowledge knowledge of what he gives you the knowledge of the beginning the middle and the end of the world human beings then wrote the gita from this and put krishna's name into it what would happen if someone were to print the name of the child in the biography of his father In the same way, the Baba gave birth to the Gita, but they put Krishna's name in it, and this is why it has become meaningless. Because the Gita has been falsified, the intellect yoga of every human being has been broken away from God. So, how can human beings become pure? we become pure with this fire of yoga not with the father not with the water of ganges baba is the ocean of knowledge he changes human beings into deities with the nectar of knowledge however water is not called nectar this is a study a study means knowledge The people of Bharat begin writing the scriptures in the copper age. They say that the scriptures are eternal, and we say that the drama is eternal. It isn't that the scriptures begin in the golden age. When they say that all of them are eternal, they actually mean that they are fixed in the drama. people have been writing them since the copper age the unlimited father has now told you his whole biography he says i play no part in the golden and silver ages 
the world continues according to the drama my part is also fixed in the drama i am bound by the bond of the drama i have no part in the golden and silver ages just as christ and buddha have no part in the golden and silver ages all of those souls reside in the land of liberation it isn't that all the souls of the deity religion also come down at that time no they too come down gradually number wise then they change from sato pradhan and go through these stages of sato rajo and tamo and those of the sun dynasty become part of the moon dynasty and expansion continues to take place the significance of this has to be understood fully you know that those who become half pure will receive an incomplete kingdom those who go ahead in knowledge and yoga are the ones who will become kings first a kingdom is being established full effort has to be made se baba explains you have to become like a diamond i am the ocean of knowledge the ocean of peace you have to become master oceans of knowledge peace doesn't just mean the absence of fighting with one another sanyasis believe that they have to do breathing exercises etc it isn't like that here here baba pulls the strings brackets of the yoga of your intellect baba pulls the strings of even the young daughters and so they go into trance this is called a godly blessing there are visions on the path of devotion to no one except the father has the power to grant divine visions the father is now personally in front of you he says god has to come to the devotees to liberate them from the chains of maya baba says i know that there is a war with maya sometimes you will ascend and sometimes you will fall when your yoga breaks you make mistakes with your thoughts words or deeds everyone faces test everyone faces tests if you were not to have any attacks from maya you would leave your body no one has yet become perfect this is a horse race it is called a sacrificial fire in which the horse is sacrificed in order to attain the kingdom you have to sacrifice the horse that is the chariot to say papa that is you have to become a child of his and serve fully become a trustee and make effort and you will receive help you need to have the firm faith mine is one sib baba and none other everyone has to die each one of you has a right to claim your inheritance from the supreme father the supreme soul who is the father teacher and sadguru it is everyone's stage of retirement everyone has to die together when calamities come so many people die together when a few bombs are dropped all the buildings are destroyed so there is now to be death for everyone this is why you have to make your children earn an income this is a true income those who do something will receive the return of it it isn't that when the father earns an income the children would receive from that no your children too have to be made to earn this true income this is something to be understood a lot of precautions have to be taken for this we are becoming deities and so we cannot eat anything impure 
Some think that it isn't wrong to eat fish, for they even feed Brahmin priests that all the customs and systems have become wrong. The father says you have to become completely pure. First of all, sit on the pyre of knowledge. No matter how many sinful thoughts your mind has, you mustn't put them into practice through your physical organs. When you belong to Baba, your war with Maya begins. Maya doesn't clash so much with those who are going to become subjects. You have to become conquerors of Maya and thereby conquerors of the world. Subjects don't become conquerors of the world. To become a conqueror of the world means to become part of the sun and moon dynasties. Some make effort and remain pure for three to four years and then slept. They then write to Baba, Baba, forgive me. There are rules and regulations here. When you become a child of Baba, you have to write about all the sins you have committed in your life. Dharmara said Baba, I have committed these sins in this birth. Then half of them will be forgiven. This is the law. Earlier when someone confessed in front of a judge, his punishment would be received, reduced. If you make a mistake and then don't write to Baba about it, there will be 100 fold punishment. There are many precautions that you children have to observe. There aren't as many for people outside. This is why they are afraid. They then do not belong to the unlimited father and the bridegroom who makes everyone 100 times fortunate. Of course, mistakes are made out. Eventually, you definitely have to become free from making mistakes. Many precautions have to be taken here. When you hold on to the hand of the powerful one, that father will also look after you. He would not look after the stepchildren as much. There are very few real children. But nevertheless, there are many children who write to Baba. So much post comes to Baba every day. Baba has only one hand. And if each child were to ask Baba to send him or her a personal letter, there is to be a lot of expense now. No one else would have such a big bag of post. This is an incognito government. It is underground. It is religio, it is religio political. There are no weapons, etc. The destination is high. Those who climb taste the sweetness of heaven, whereas those who fall lose their kingdom and become subjects. Do you understand? You children know that Bharat, which was like a diamond, has become like a cell. You would say that you are now making effort to change from residents of hell into residents of heaven. We have come here to become 100 times fortunate for all time. Baba is making us pure from impure. This kingdom of Ravan will then go down below. This cycle continues to turn. When the kingdom of Ravan goes down, the kingdom of Rama comes up. You have to take very good care of yourselves. Only those who bathe in knowledge every day will be able to take care of themselves. Royal people bathe twice a day. Here too you definitely have to bathe in knowledge twice. At Amrit Vela and in the evening at dusk. The first time study for an hour and then the second time definitely revise the morally. You have to imbibe knowledge and inspire others to, do, to imbibe it. Enable your wife and children to earn this true income. 
To claim the fortune of a kingdom for 20 burnt birds is not like going to your auntie's home. It can be understood which ones are making intense effort. If someone is ill, you can carry that person on an on a dolly brackets carries in which the bride is carried on her wedding day and bring him here. Let that person leave his body with the nectar of knowledge on his lips. A deaf or blind person can also earn this income. Knowledge is very easy. You have to claim your inheritance from the father. Only once does the father personally come and give you the sovereignty. When children become happy, their father goes away into retirement. The unlimited father makes everyone happy and then he goes and sits in the supreme abode. Souls then continue to come down from there number wise. It isn't that he sends anyone down that it just said because this drama continues automatically. They have to come to establish their religion at their own time. You Brahmins know that you are the clan of Brahma. The whole world is part of Shiva's clan. Then the corporeal father is Brahma. You children of Brahma are brothers and sisters. You now belong to the godly religion and in the golden age you will belong to the deity religion. You have now taken birth to God. You now belong to Him. Because of not knowing the Creator, people don't even know the beginning, the middle or the end of creation. They are called atheist, worth cells. We have now truly become theist and so we become worth diamonds. By knowing the Creator and creation, we receive the kingdom. Baba is making us worth a pound and so we should become that, should we not? He is making us into emperors of the land of truth, the masters of the land of truth. It's said that a king went around in disguise to see the condition of his kingdom. There is also the story of God, the friend. That God is now our friend. The stories of God, the friend, Allah, Awaldin and Hatam Tai, brackets bead in the mouth, are all of this time. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bab Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children says Namaste to the spiritual father. Essence for Dharna Number 1 Earn a true income and inspire others to do the same. Even though tests and storms come, don't make any mistakes through your physical organs. Become a conqueror of Maya and a conqueror of the world. In order to become deities, take full precautions with your food and drink. Don't eat any impure food. Definitely bathe in knowledge twice a day. Blessing. May you be a master almighty authority and attain success with one strength and one support. The children who have true love and move along with one strength and one support have always achieved success and will continue to do so because true love easily finishes all obstacles. When you have the company of the Almighty Authority Father and you have full faith in Him, trivial matters finish as though they are nothing. The impossible becomes possible. Everything becomes as easy as pulling hair out of butter. 
So consider yourself to be a master almighty authority in this way and continue to be an embodiment of success. Slogan Let there be the sparkle of purity in your eyes and the smile of purity on your lips. This is to be an elevated personality. Slogan Let there be the sparkle of purity in your eyes and the smile of purity on your lips. This is to be an elevated personality. Om Shanti